Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Blog. In this video, I'm going to show you the installation and deployment of uh, VMware VTSA 6.0 Update 1. So, it's fairly easy. You have to mount the ISO and click the HTML5 to open the default web browser. After you hit the install button, you enter the IP address of your ESXi host, root password, root um, account and uh, password. Uh, note that uh, you have to uh, have previously installed the client integration plugin for your web browser. If you don't do this, it uh, prompts you to download from VMware. The client integration plugin is about 97 megabyte in size. So let's move on. We're gonna create new SSO domain. We're gonna put a complex password. The SSO domain you can choose whatever you like. I choose vSphere.local, that's the default VMware. And the, the site name you can choose also whatever you like. Now here you can choose um, the size of the appliance and uh, which data store. Also you can pick the thin disk mode which you're uh, gonna save some space. Thin disk will gonna grow over time. On this screen you pick the network and you can do DHCP or a static IP address. Uh, note that previously I have uh, already created DNS records forward and reverse on my DNS server. If you don't didn't do it, you must enter IP address here instead of FQDN. Also you enter the network gateway and uh, DNS server. I'm syncing the time with my ESXi host. Here I accelerated a little bit the, this part of the video because um, it takes 5 to 8 minutes to actually deploy the appliance to copy it to this data store, power it on and uh, launch the default configuration scripts and to power on the complete appliance. So this part already almost finished and in the second part I'm gonna show you the new HTML5 VAMI interface which is now the administration interface of the VCSA update 1 but this will gonna be in the second part. Now let's log in to the appliance that's the SSO domain we created and the password for the SSO domain we have assigned so this is uh, the vCenter overview but this didn't change much uh, what I wanted to show you is the new VAMI interface which now you can do plenty of things we need to log in as a root and as you can see you can also create support bundle you can enable the bash shell you can change the networking it's fully HTML5 interface and uh, we are quite uh, impatient to see this HTML5 also for the vSphere web client. This is not the case for now. 
this is just the administration of the VCSA and you can change the root password and you can also uh, say that you do not want the root password to expire which I'm not recommending only for lab environments as root password uh, shall always expire and shall be changed on a regular basis at least once a year okay that's it thank you very much for watching bye bye